Hi Marshies, it's me Sis, and today I'll be teaching you how to make my 3D braided camo. This is one of my most requested camo tutorials, so I hope you guys really enjoy this. I'll be showing you how to make a few different versions. Here's the original. It looks like metals wrapped around the gun. I also have like a faded design, rainbow, and I'll also be teaching you how to apply gradients to it, as well as materials. On Twitter, I was trying to reach a goal of 200 retweets, but we reached around 170, so that's fantastic anyways, so I'm giving you the tutorial early instead of tomorrow. So thank you all so much for supporting me. 170 retweets is still a crazy amount, so thank you so much to all those that retweeted and shared my video. Alright, even though this camo looks kind of complicated, it's pretty darn simple in a way. It's just a repeated pattern over and over again. So, um, once you get the pattern down, you should be able to make your own camo fairly easily. I'm just going to show you how it works really quick, and then I'll show you the coordinates for all of my shapes that I used, so you could get the exact copy of this camo. Alright, so all I really used for this camo are rectangles, and this, where is it? This target um, crosshair decal. So to start, I'm going to select a square or a rectangle of any sort here. So you could select rectangle medium or square full. I like to go with the square and just skew it to however I want. So I'm going to skew it so it's thinner. Try to make it pretty long so it doesn't like show the corners on your gun. All right, and we're gonna angle the first strip to be 50 degrees. So rotate it to the right until it hits 50 on the right side of the screen there, like so. I'm going to select the material. This is very crucial for this camo. You're going to have to use this material only. Um, even with the color gradients and all that, you have to make sure that there's a base layer of this material. Otherwise, it will have a strange sheen to it and it will kind of throw off the 3D effect and it will look kind of flat. So again, select this material. It's the second material in the general materials list and I'll move it to the left here and we'll get started. All right, and I'll copy that, paste it, and this one will rotate to 310 degrees. So just rotate it to the right until you hit 310 or left. Left would have been quicker. <laughs> and I'll move this layer behind that first layer. That seems like a good spot. And now I'll select that crosshair. So I believe it's under icons. There it is. Now make sure you toggle outline for it. So hit square. And this one you'll rotate to 45 degrees and just enlarge it until it maxes out basically. All right, now turn it black. This will be like the shading in between each strip of the braid design and just move it between the two um, strip layers and just kind of tuck it like that so you can see a shadow from the first strip cast onto the second strip underneath it. All right, now I'll copy layer three and make sure you paste it under layer one. So the second you go over, Layer one, just hit paste and it'll go underneath it. And this one will move down to right about there. Copy the crosshair again, paste it between one and two. All right, so now I'm gonna move, if you look at that curved part of the shadow, you just move that to the corner like so. So you're forming these little corners between these strips and you basically just wanna put shading in those corners with those crosshairs. So I'm going to do a few more layers and then I'll show you the exact coordinates because you can actually do this without coordinates yourself. But for those of you that want to play it safe and follow coordinates, I'll provide those as well. All right, copy, paste, corner shadow, copying four, paste, bring it under there, copy three, paste, under. And another thing to pay attention to for this camo is where the corners are at. So if you want to set up guidelines, you can. I'll set some to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so if you look at those two blue lines that I just pasted right there, every point of what appears to be kind of like triangles, these points all line up along those guidelines. All right, I'm trying to use a triangle as a pointer to show you what I'm talking about. So try to make each strip the same thickness and each triangle here that it's forming the same size. Try to keep it uniform throughout the entire design. Now one more thing before we get to the coordinates is you copy each strip at the end when you're done. This is actually pretty crucial so you're gonna have to do this. Copy every rectangle, paste it below that rectangle, change the color to white, and then just slowly shift it just so you can barely see a white border. And that border is a highlight for each strip and that highlight just makes it pop and gives it more of a 3D effect. So as you can see here, there's like these little 
white lines going along the edges of the strips. And that just makes it pop and it makes it more 3D. So if you want a true 3D camo, you have to go through the time and do that. There is a small 3D effect without that white strip, but <laughs> like I said, it'll just pop more. So trust me. All right, I'll just quickly go through the coordinates of this camo really quick for anyone that wants to copy coordinates. Again, you can just do it yourself really quick. I think copying coordinates might take a little bit longer. So whatever you want to do, if you're struggling by doing it by yourself, then feel free to just copy these. <laughs>
All right, so now you have the left side done for your VMP 3D camo. For the top, I kind of like to match things up um, throughout the entire gun. So on the top, I made sure that I have like a little white border here that matches up on the side there as if it's kind of continuing off the side onto the top and to the right as well. It doesn't match up perfectly, but it's good to have it at least close. All right, I'll just give you the coordinates for the top really quick. It's pretty easy. For the seventh layer, I used the carbon fiber material. It's just my favorite material to use for the top part of the VMP. All right, and on the right side, I didn't care for it as much as on the left side. Obviously, you don't see the right side in game. So if you want, you can just do a repeated pattern for that. To help me out, I made sure I copied layer one on the left side and just pasted it on the right, as well as copying layer four and pasting it on the right as well and then just doing the copy, paste, um, repeat, copy the crosshairs as well. So that's it for the metal VMP 3D braided camo. If you want color added to it, I'll be making a second part to it, which will be up tomorrow. So there should be an annotation on the screen right now. Go ahead and click that for the color part of the tutorial. <music> section every Friday. Today's crazy class is by Roberto Vasquez. It's a stealth class. We got the VMP with a silencer. 